All righty. This happened this morning. Uh, this is the end all of this poor awning. The awning is uh, just shy of eight years old. And for the past several months, there was just a little hole right here. You can see where the mesh material is all messed up. And uh, another little hole was over here right on the edge like this. So for about three months, we've lived like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show how you can swap out the awning for a new one. Um, you can do it one person, two persons. All you need is a little step ladder. Not even a step ladder, I got one of these. And uh, everybody always shows you how to like take this whole thing apart and take the spring out and all that crap and restring them and this, that. And remove this off the building. Like, do you really want to do that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little, oh, a little slot right here in the bottom portion of that track bend down the back of it, bend up the front of it so that the awning can come this way underneath that. Sorry for the blurriness. And then I'm also going to drill a hole right here with a little slot. <clears throat> right here with a little slot going this way and one on the other side if I need it. It doesn't look like I need it right now. Actually, there is a hole right here already. So I'm just gonna do a little slot. And that's for the valance because the awnings come down from the building, go over this, which I've already ripped off. So it come down here and it slides in here and then has a valance, you know, about six, eight inches or something like that, just flaps in the breeze. And, uh, we're gonna do that. And I'll show you why I'm gonna do that. Because I don't believe these things were designed to be taken off the way everybody does. See that little hole there? Comes from the factory like that to slide the awning in from this side. But it doesn't have a hole over here. No hole on the other side. That would match up. It's full. So, and the only thing up top is there's one little screw right here at the edge that prevents the awning from moving this way and that way. And same thing on the other end. One little screw in the edge prevents it from going back and forth. So I'm not gonna bore you with showing you all the, uh, all the process because I don't have a tripod. I don't have somebody to hold the camera. And uh, it takes two hands to do what I'm going to do. So I'm, in this, I'll splice them together. You'll see the end. Okay, so first thing I have to do is I made a little mark right here, which allows this captivating unit to slide down here below that. But I'm going to stop it right there with the little mark. All I'm going to do is put a little self-drill, self-tap, screw right in there just to hold it for now I'll take it out later after I'm done see the screw I didn't even put it in all the way I mean letting it out maybe three sixteenths of an inch it just makes a little hole there not a big deal we'll uh, make that flat pretty later after I remove the screw now another key thing to keep in mind this little latch is plastic and not a very good plastic. I mean, it's lasted eight years, but you cannot just pull that out like that with the weight and stress of this on it. So when it's all up and, and you know, where it's supposed to be when you're using the awning, take a flathead screwdriver, stick it up here and just lift up a little bit when this is up here and uh, it will release the pressure. Cause see, this will go right back up. I can't do it without getting letting go of the camera here. So see, it's up there. And if I try to pull this out, you'll never get it out. If you put a screwdriver or anything else in there, put that in, you'll just break it. So just pull the screwdriver in here. And you're just going to lift up. And it doesn't even look like it lift up much. 
but it's enough to do that. And then it just slides down like that. And when it comes down enough, it'll just hit that screw I put in there. Now you'll notice this is still in here, which is still in the way for the drill. But if you do this, you just pull down on this or pull out. And then it straightens up. So there you can see the 3 8 inch hole, which I used a 964 pilot and the 3 8 drill bit because that's what the inside of the diameter of this thing is in here. It ends up being 3 8. So I'm going to use a, my little uh, rat tail file there to uh, just smooth it up a little bit. And then I'm going to take the Dremel and uh, slice that out to the same size as this, which it looks like it's about, you know, about 3 16ths. It's less than a quarter. And it's just got to slide this in and out, so. But it's got to be smooth. So when I'm done, it'll it'll look factory. And it doesn't matter if it's scratched up or not. It's powder cone, it's aluminum, it's not gonna rust. Okay, so I got my little hole and my little slot. So now the awning can just slide out here. Um, that's a problem, so I might have to drill another hole in another slot. But that's not a problem. Looks good. A little bit of white paint. Because it is epoxy paint. It's not powder coat. It's epoxy. It'll look like brand new. After eight years. And then there were two. One on each side. So we can do the valance. Come out nice. Next. Up there. Now remember you have to remove both screws. One here and one on the other end of the awning. It's supposed to be holding this here so that it doesn't shift. That's all. Take it out. And there you have it. A little slight up bend here to assist this to come down nice and smooth. No sharp edges. Take your rat file and just file them off nice and easy. And then a little bend here. This is about an inch. Really gently bend this down. Really gently bend that up. Otherwise it'll crack. And again, no sharp edges for when I want to put the new one in. This is all nice and smooth. Can't get cut on it. Now I can put the clamp. I have clamps that go on the end of here. I'll put one here and I'll put one down there. Tie a rope between them. One person can pull the whole thing off. So I ended up having to cut it. I didn't want to, but I had to cut down the length of the of the front beam there to uh, be able to pull it out. And then I started pulling the uh, the uh, plastic or nylon or whatever this is, flexible thing that goes in between there. Tried pulling it out and ended up breaking a foot off the end of it. So I got my uh, trusty free uh, 8 inch it looks like got it for free and I just use it as a utility knife and you know that's really all you got to do to put a slight finish on it I mean it was super sharp razor sharp and then I just go like this just like filleting a fish going up through the threads where it's sewn together I did the, the first one over there did the second one and uh, in the process I also took some uh, 250 or something like that sandpaper and sanded the uh, the uh, roller down a little bit just to get any residual nastiness from the trees that create a T that looks like rust. So I got all that off there. WD-40, the sucker, did both channels that the uh, front awning is going to go through. So I still have to pull this one out, but I've already pulled on that so I know it'll come right out. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll just take the uh, the nylon plastic thing I don't know what they call it they have a word for it I'll take that out of there and I'll do the same thing I'll clean and oil that channel and then we can put the new one in and look all the parts I did end up doing this let me show you this I did a crisscross with a piece of rope and it only took a 25 foot piece that I had laying around here it wasn't even open I've had it for years this is all the shit that come off the top of it from the trees. Anyway, 
So I, I tied here to the bottom and then went to the door of my trailer, which just happens to be right there. But you could, uh, you could tie it to anything, tie it to a, a stake in the yard, a tractor, you know, anything, just a couple hundred pounds worth. Went up to the top, came back down here. And what that did was, because once the awning is off, this would, you know, go like this in all directions. So when I did this, if I could have tied, if I had more and I could have tied this end down to a corner, then the whole thing would have been stable. But uh, it was good enough for my purposes. So get back in when we get done here. So here we are, finished product. <clears throat> I apologize that I didn't take any video of the process of pulling the old one out or the new one in. We're just too, you know, it took like 10 minutes each side. <clears throat> so it wasn't that bad. And we got it centered. And uh, you can see here, I gotta just straighten this out a little bit. And then set the height here, set the height down there. And uh, then uh, put in the, the PVC rails. There's two rails that go up here. It's like, you know, four feet in here and four feet in from the other side and they make it look like a peak roof and uh it doesn't flap in the breeze then so but all in all it only took about maybe an hour total and uh, as i said all i had to do is drill those two holes in the edge there one for the valance and then the one for the main awning up there uh, if you could see it or not anyway and then the only problem I had, if you want to call it a problem, is, see the seam makes the end thicker, obviously, than what this is. And the little, the little bit of uh, awning material that goes around the top of the pole, or the, the, uh, the uh, oh, what the hell do they call that? Roller. The, you can see the difference in circumference between this one and this one. So getting, getting the first side on here was kind of difficult just to get it to stretch over that end cap. But once we got it in there, the whole thing slid right in, slid right in there. Um, probably could have made that opening that I did up there. I probably uh, should have cut a little bit more out, but it, was, it wasn't a problem. I just stood there and kind of hand fed it in to make sure it went in the the uh, channel correctly and uh, tied the clamps one clamp one clamp there one clamp there a rope in between them wrap the rope around here so that it could come back and I was just pulling on it pulled it in like I said it was a 10 minute job and then when we got to when I got to the end here getting this over this end again, just this last two inches, that was uh, a little more than I expected. But other than that, not having to take the whole thing apart and remove it from the building, which is absolutely ridiculous. I lowered that down to the bottom. I didn't even bother the other side. Oh, it's already down on the bottom. And uh, I did, however, take this apart, which is just unscrew that thumb knob and and the two of them pull apart so that this section just laid down um, because as you see up there the awning would go in and come out underneath that whereas down here it would come in and go out above that so that's all I took apart right there unscrew that this bottom one came out and then uh, it's as it was not there at all I have my stepladder sitting here so the stepladder held this straight up and down so it wasn't a problem so there you have it maybe tops an hour for the whole thing uh would have been easier if i had help but uh it worked out great love the awning too got the awning on amazon for you know 219 dollars i think it was and i actually ordered a foot larger than what they told me the measurement should be and it brings it right out to the edge of the thing Whereas before the awning was like in here someplace. So, and there's the name of the company that I got it off of on Amazon. And it's, uh, the one I got is Cranberry, I think. 
Yeah, it goes from, hard to see, but it goes from cranberry up to white. And uh, looks nice enough. Nobody sees the top anyway or cares. So, you guys have a good day. And uh, I'm hoping I can get some more videos put up of the different things I do here at our homestead. Which is in the middle. We're literally, we're dead smack in the middle of the park. And uh, we have the largest lot here. Which includes this little hammock of Florida based plants and animals. We actually have an osprey up in the trees up there. With the baby. Got my flagpole. I should have put a video in when I did the flagpole too. I had a buddy bring his tractor over and we did a, dug a big hole down there with the, the drill on the back of the tractor two of them actually I drilled one over there and one over here so that this see how it's kind of loose there but it's it, this is that's all it wobbles that little tiny bit but it doesn't even wobble in the breeze but the idea is when uh if that uh you know rots out or whatever down there because rain gets in there pull it out put a new pole in because big piece of pvc down there so that's all. Have a good day, guys. Enjoy your holidays. Enjoy your family. Be thankful for your family.